But uh, yeah, tonight I just want to, how many judo guys are in here or people who practice judo a little bit? A little bit? Yeah, no? Okay. So the most important thing is, you know, if you're injured, knees, ankles, and you don't like what we're doing, then we're not going to do anything crazy. We're just going to keep it simple. Try to keep it um, effective. Kind of, because we're close cousins, judo and jiu-jitsu are really close cousins. Judo match, there's four ways to win. Throw, pin, choke. Arm lock. Okay, so three, three to four are on the ground. So we practice a lot on the ground. I lived in Japan for four years. That's kind of how if you want to get good at judo. Is you can move to Japan, and that's what I did. And morning time was three hours on the ground, just doing rolling. Afternoon it was all standing, um, and then the last night was kind of a common. The last the, in the evening was kind of a combination, but. Um, we're just going to concentrate on mainly the takedowns, gripping, the tai sabaki, which is the movement of just how you stand, how do you grip, kind of how do you enter, kind of the in between the lines, you know, which is what everybody wants to know. Uh, not so much exactly okay, step one, and step two, you know, because most of you guys know how to throw, you know how to fall, um, but we just we just have fun, try to help each other kind of leave your ego off the mat a little bit, you know, so, so you know, just take the falls or, you know, just so nobody gets hurt, all right? Here's where how we're going to start. We're going to grab, can I borrow you? Um, this is your, and I'm going to use this terminology, not that you're going to remember it, just so that you kind of familiarize with it. Um, you know, like a, like a kimura, everybody calls this a kimura, that's called ude garame, and that's what it was before they called it a kimura. <laughs> so I just want to be good. You guys know where the, the, the lineage came from. We know the name, the Japanese name. No, so this is the take. This is the tsuri take, lapel, and the pulling. This is the most important one because actually they're both important because you you gotta have pull and you gotta off balance your opponent before you can throw. Them, right? You can't just be locked in like this and expect to throw somebody. You have to be moving, you know, off balancing, such and so forth. So. First drill we're going to do to use warm, to warm up, we're just going to grab the, the tsuritei or the lapel, and all I want you to do is get in the ha move, move your opponent around, keep your head above your hips. Right? <coughs> if you want to pull them this way, just pull them this way. If you want to go this way, push them this way. More with your wrist motion, not so much with your upper body strength. Try to keep your body kind of loose, right? And just, right? If I want to. Use your uh, forearm a little bit to push him. Pull him back. Notice when I pull back, I'm not, I'm not pulling him with my upper body. I'm pushing down with my toe, keeping my head on my hips, and using my whole body, right, to pull him forward. It's really hard to stop. And if he's a bigger person, that's what you need to do. Okay? Just we're gonna go 30 seconds. One person. 30 seconds the other person when I clap my hands. Now we're kind of just going to warm up. Use this to warm up. 